Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial of Express Basic. I'm Ellie. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, configure the page layout, blog layout, and post layouts, and all the layouts that you can do uh, on your website. So, log into your WordPress, then go to Appearance, and click on Theme option. Now, the second setting that you get is Design setting, where you can uh, set all the layouts for your blog, pages, posts. And everything you can also select the sites layout that is currently it's full width right now so let us see how our uh, website is looking this is our website and it's in our in the full width uh, web page layout that is without without leaving any um, space on each side but you can change this into boxed if you want to so for that choose this box and after that you will have the option to fill those uh, empty space uh, on the left and right side of your website from a certain pattern this is the pattern I selected and then click on save option now go back to your front end and see how that will appear As you can see our left and right side is emptied and it's in a box form our website let us see why this pattern is not working let's select a pattern and then click on save option now let's again go back to our front end as you can see the empty space around the screen is covered with a background pattern. So in this way you can select your uh, web page layout that is either boxed or full width. Along with this you can also change the uh, category blog layout by selecting right, left sidebar, right sidebar or anything. Like for example it's uh, on right sidebar right now. So let us see how that is looking on our blog page. Let's go to blogs and it is currently with the right sidebar but if you select both sidebar or any other and save option. Now let's see how that will look. So it has both sidebars right now. So in this way you can configure this blog layout from here. And about this uh, page layout, when you select a layout here, that is uh, for example I select left sidebar and save your option. Then while uh, when you make a new page, for example, let us make a new page. Here you can see there is a default layout and the layout that you had selected then will act as a default layout. And even though you don't select the left sidebar here, but you have selected a default uh, layout and click on publish. Then add this uh, page on your menu and save option. Now let's get to the page we created to see its layout. As you can see, new page. It's got the left sidebar. Well, it's not clear because we haven't kept a content. So let's put some content on the page we created. Update it. And let's again go to our front now. Uh, on our front-end website 
as you can see it has a left sidebar because we haven't kept any widgets on our left sidebar it's not appearing there but it will so in this way you can set the layout of the page similarly you can also set uh, the layout of post from here that is when you select a layout here it becomes the default layout uh, for that post when while you create the post along with this you can also select the blog post display layout that is uh, blog image large medium alternate medium or full content in our website we have we have created this blog page with all the posts So right now it's in the image large way layout but you can change this go back to theme option and select this blog image alternate medium for example and then save option now let's see how what change that will bring your post is appearing in an alternate form so in this way you can change this blog post layout This is how you change your blog post display layout here. And you can also enable or disable the footer uh, featured widget from here. Also enable or disable the page comments uh, that you get when you click on any page or uh, disable or enable this post comment and then save option. And so these are the layouts that you can configure from uh, design setting by going to theme option of appearance. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you have any confusions then do refer to our online documentation or uh, seek for our support through mail or chat. Thank you very much.